Leonard is the CEO of Botswana Railways. Thank you very much for joining me for a coffee with the editor. 2020, it's been a tough year, but I'm sure there's been some positives for you. The highlight for, for me was when the uh, Botswana government in the uh, midterm review of the NDP 11, which is National Development Plan 11, put in the development of the Mamabula Alapalila Railway Line. When that was accepted and put on the midterm review of the uh, National Development Plan, it was a major breakthrough for me because then that, that is the beginning of the project. Yes. Because it is there and it's being funded. At least if you believe that it's being funded. So it's a great achievement for us. Oh, fantastic. So that's going to be yes. totally funded by the government, that line? No, the feasibility study is being funded by the government once we've done the study. Yes. And then uh, uh, we can go to the market, uh, and there's a lot of interest out there. Oh, I'm sure. When do you think it's going to go out to the market? What's happened, we went to tender for the study, and uh, and then we went to, to tender for an evaluator. We were awarded. And the evaluation of the physical study has uh, is starting now. And I'm told that uh, the estimate for the complete study and detailed design will be about nine months. So I'm looking at the third quarter of next year for the results to come out. Okay. All right. Anything up to nine months, yes. Well, that, that is good news and a positive sign because that project's been on the books for a while. Yes. It's, uh, yeah, it's, been, it's been a problem, but now it's, it's, it's starting. Oh, fantastic. And then you've also had some hiccups with some other projects this year. Well, I mean, uh, yes. Uh, alongside the Mama Buyala Parallel is also the Mosesi Televisen uh, Railway Lab. Mm -hmm. But that has always been on the NDP level. And uh, the study is also starting now at the same time. So... We're doing the two projects at the same time. Oh, well, that's good. And then signaling, when is that going to come? Is it going to be retended or is it totally on hold now? Uh, the signal is going to be re... Let me just see. Retended, I think, yeah. It's going to be retended. Any idea but, when? You know, we, we are waiting for finance for that one. Okay. Uh, we still haven't got uh, full agreement from, from government on the money. Okay. Is that what held the process up? It is. It is uh, actually the funding of the project. And, you know, the government went around and said, you know, they've got a lot of health issues to worry about because of the impact of COVID-19 and, and a lot of other expenses to go with, with the pandemic. So we should look at uh, reprioritizing and then um, uh, we'll pick up as soon as they've got a clear way of what's happening with the pandemic. But I think uh, people are beginning to, things are beginning to be easy now. So uh, I hope that uh, early next year we'll get some feedback. And then in terms of uh, your contracts, has it been renewed? No, I'm leaving BR end of December. So I've got another three weeks left in BR. Okay. And and who's being, who's being um, appointed? Any decisions yet? I, I don't know. You I, don't know? I'm, I'm not sure. Okay, but now I'm going to let you, as the current CEO, <laughs> yes. talk about what's going to happen 2021. I'm sure there are some firm plans already in the pipeline, aside from the two projects that you've spoken about. Is there anything else that's really worth mentioning? I mean, from passenger services, any other projects? Yes. I mean, yeah, I think, uh, you know, the passenger service thing in Botswana has been suspended as we speak now. But uh, we're looking forward to uh, revising it. And we're looking at uh, some government salvation on this thing because I, I also believe that uh, we need to benchmark with other countries and see how Praza are running the service, you know, uh, if they get any help from government or not. Other players in the region, because that has been, uh, it has been a loss-making uh, issue for, for, for the Botswana Railway. We find that uh, we don't we don't really don't recover our cost than passenger train, but yeah. it is an important uh, offering, you know, for for the public. One or the other, you know, we need to make a decision, but we need that with the help of government. Mm, uh, absolutely, and you know, passenger 
rail services are are essential components they're unfortunately you know not money making and do need to be subsidized by by government in anywhere in the world how are you guys doing with your rolling stock at the moment uh, I mean, uh, yeah, we we have a lot of aging uh, rolling stock, especially locomotives, and uh, uh, one of the projects that we are coming into is the building of a maintenance workshop because we're going to need to be rebuilding a lot of our old locomotives apart from our plan for money to buy new ones. So we have a, you know, it's an aging fleet, you know, uh, some of it is more than 30 years old and it needs to be, you know, remanufactured. Yeah, it's going to be quite a, a busy... Um, so you're putting in your own facility. I remember seeing a tender for that some time back or discussion around yes. that. Yes, we, we're putting on facility because uh, we have been relying a lot on uh, on TFR, you know, TFR engineering, mm. uh, but they also have their own issues. So, you know, you can't really depend on somebody. You know, when they have their own issues, you come on the you know, last in the queue. So, you know, and uh, sometimes it's not really uh, beneficial for us. So yeah. we need to we need to invest in a facility. We might not have all the skills, but we will import skills. It's good to have your own internal capacity to deal with your fleet as, as and when is required. I mean, there are lots of suppliers that can supply in spares and, and components. Yeah, definitely. Once you have a facility, mm. you can actually get assistance from people with knowledge and come and, and in the process train uh, citizens, you know, to mm. carry on with maintenance. It might not mm. happen, you know, in one year, but in two, three years, we'll probably have a qualified citizen who can carry on some of this work. So what are you going to do after Botswana Railways? I, uh, I'm going to relax a bit, you know. I've been working, you know, for quite uh, a very long time, so... I'm not quite sure yet, but uh, I've got a lot of work in uh, companies and society. Okay. Uh, I'll probably help with some railways, but from a consulting point of view. Absolutely. Well, do keep in touch and yeah, um, let me know who who the next uh, CEO is. Leonard, thank you very much um, for your time, and uh, I wish you a good holiday. Yeah.